Hey guys, before we move on to the video, please like, share and subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to receive regular updates from our channel and Today we will discuss and view on program related to the strings and execute them using python. In the first question, we are required to obtain an input and to print only the consonant in it, excluding the vowels in it. And if no consonants are present, we should print minus 1. So here, we get the value a as an input and we initialize a for loop where we break down each letter and check whether it is a vowel or consonant using if loops. Here we require a variable or to count the occurrence of the consonants as it is mentioned in the question to print minus 1 if there are no consonants. So in order to test that case, we increment or with respect to the consonants. So this program is expected to output the consonants in the sample input and if or is equal to 0, we print minus 1 as mentioned in the question. And now let's check this program if it gets executed or we need some alteration in this. And as all test cases has been passed, let's move on to the next question. In the second question, we are required to get an input of two numbers and to print the product of those obtained. This, this is a pretty simple program and we just need to multiply and print the product of these two numbers. And after this question gets a positive test case for all results, we will carry on to the next question. In the third question, we are required to print the word wonder if the string is wonderful and minus 1 if it is not. In order to print wonder, the given input should consist of only 3 alphabets and if it exceeds or the count is lower, we should print minus 1. A clear example of the positive test case is provided in the sample input. So to start with the program, we declare a variable a as an input and we initialize a for loop for breaking and testing the individual letters in the variable a. Here we add two more variables x and r where x is the first element in the input and r is the count of the number of elements or letters in an individual input. So in this condition if the letter is equal to the first element it gets continued else we increment the R value to 1 and initialize the X value to the next element. It continues and the else statement plays the major role of computing the program's output as it depends on the value of R. Only if R is equal to 3, the program would print wonder, else the program would print minus 1. And thus we test the conditions and print the desired output for the required parameters. We have written a pretty large amount of code and let's see if it passes all the test cases. Now we will move on to the fourth question. This question consists of a storyline but we will just concentrate on the question that we are required to compute on. In this question, we are required to sort the word according to the alphabetical order. As it is shown in the sample input, we should produce an output by sorting the first value of each element. So we assign a variable for getting the input and we split the required input to get sorted. And we sort the function, sorry the string using the sort function and print the output using join list function. Let me ensure if we had uh, done the correct syntax and let's submit this code. And this executes pass to result. Let's move on to the next question. In this question, we should check whether the input string is a palindrome or not. 
If it is a palindrome, we must return 1, else we should return 0. A palindrome is a string in which each first element is equal to its respective and equal last element, as it is mentioned in the sample input. So to start with, let's get an input of a variable a and using an if loop and checking whether the inputted string is equal to the reverse of the inputted string. And if this case is true, we would print 1, else we would return 0. I think this is the most easiest method of testing a palindrome. And so thanks and let's see you in the next video.